Is this the stage you would like Welcome to back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Episode 41. Glad to be back. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Hey, what are we doing today? We're doing a Sonic stage, and guess who we're going to play as a Sonic in this Sonic stage? Oh, it's this one. I haven't been here in forever. Yeah, we haven't, but there's something a little different this time around. Oh. What? New code time. Play as Amy Rose. She's not in this game, is she? She is in this game. Well, she is now. Well, she, she was in the story. <laughs> don't, you, don't you remember the hero side story? Oh, yeah. that's a, It's been far too long. But what's she doing in this stage? Why is she Sonic? Well, the difference between this code oh, and the one where I could play as, like, <laughs> you know, Knuckles in a Sonic stage or whatever is that... This is actually a Sonic-like character, because you can play as Amy in the two-player mode. Which oh. means that she has all of Sonic's moves, all of his upgrades and abilities, and functions pretty much just like Sonic in every way, shape, and form. So, to mix things up, we're gonna play as Amy for this run! What do you think about that? It's like Hedgehog Tomb Raider type business or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just and thinking. I've that realized that we're just getting nothing but panty shots this entire time. But uh, she has well. the bounce bracelet. Hey, I'm glad she has the bounce bracelet, but I was just thinking this is probably the most stable code you've ever put in. Yeah, <laughs> actually. She's in the two player. I had to enter in a second code. Because <laughs> the don't crash. Yeah, apparently. Because <laughs> the, uh, the, the, just the uh, play is Amy code, if you press the B button, I don't think it's calibrated right because the B button does different things to the characters. Oh. And uh, doing it outside of two-player mode probably doesn't make it do that. So I had to enter in another code to fix the B button problem. <laughs> the the make-it-work oh. code. Oh, and there we go. Straight through the wall. You know, I wish Amy could have the ability of, I don't know, like some sweatpants maybe? <laughs> oh, no. Eh, that's all hey, right. You're giving her the gift of death. Stop. Uh, she, there we go. She, she only has like two voice bits as well when she's in this mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! There's he's one. Got, he just got grabbed by a ghoulie. How could oh you? God, no! <laughs> uh, that Wait, sure no. is a rare joke, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. I can't even remember how to get to the ending of this one since you're just like flying around trying to find holes in the programming. Oh, there we go. This one is pretty open, but this part here where I have to get this key to oh jeez, where I have to bring it back over to the door. Mm hmm. That's uh. Oh. That's one I can't seem to bypass very well. But there are ways to do it quicker than the game intended, of course, and still save some time. Oh, can, can we just have a future Sonic game? Maybe this this new one that's coming out. Can they have just like too fast mode, where where every action you do is this fast? I would still, uh, I'd, I'd go for an all Super Sonic game. Just like that's... constantly be given rings and the Chaos Emeralds, and you just fly around everywhere. The power of flight, you know, just zipping around like I do in this game. And uh, trying to maintain control is actually now part of the gameplay. Uh, well, if you're talking like something like Sonic Unleashed, trying to stay in control is also one of the gameplay types you can do. Well, that was... well... Okay, we need to hit some design documents, that's all we gotta do. Oh, okay, okay. So if we, if we just mainly, you know, keep some of the... keep some of the good stuff that was good, good. Uh -oh. oh, I totally missed... <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have killed me. I was just thinking that was a dirty trap. What a fucking jip. <laughs> Here's the real one you wanted to use. That other one, just a ruse. Well, can't, re well. can't read the light speed. I think it might just be Amy's model. Like, it's not as well-tuned to the light speed dash as Sonic is, or maybe it's just not that well-programmed. Oh... Uh, oh, it was supposed to bring there. you up here. Okay. See, I never even knew this part of the stage existed. Uh, and we're still the, very much Sonic. That, that's the only reason they give you the Mystic Melody is just, like, for a shortcut? Sometimes for a shortcut, sometimes for a bonus, sometimes for an extra life, and look, there's an extra animal there. And even, a way through you never knew. That was way too close to colliding. All right, so I, at first I thought that Mystic Melody cost you more time, but I can see how it costs a little less time in this one. It depends on which shortcuts you use. 
Uh, for some reason, you're great! Yeah! Oh, yep, just skip the level, just go straight through, yep, yep. I'm trying to show off the level as Amy as much as I can, but with, uh, minimal patience, we'll say. <laughs> what is with all these signs? Were those there before? Yeah, or the idea is to find Eggman's base, and what better way to show Eggman's base than his face plastered everywhere, neon <laughs> signs. My name and my face in lights! <laughs> What's a good What's a good term to describe that? Hmm. Somebody who loves themselves so much. Oh yeah. Giant narcissist. The egg narcissist. <laughs> the egg narcissist. <laughs> it's like a It's like a throw off of agnostic, except you really love yourself. This is really easy to get a hundred rings on, because uh, there's a lot of ring boxes up here that uh, have like tens and twenties, like one right here. But because we can fly and control space-time, this will oh, be a wow. lot easier to do. That is a lot easier. Look at that! Cheating is handy! Oh. You believe a hedgehog can fly? Guess we don't need you anymore, Tails. <laughs> Later, Fox Boy. Hedgehogs only. Oh, no like shit. A... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, hey. Ten. <laughs> 20, all right. Yeah, I was just thinking, is it hedgehogs only, and Sonic goes back into his box fort and say, you're too slow! And Tails is like 23 at this point, he's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> so are you saying, like, Sonic has degraded mentally as he gets older? I don't say he degraded, I say well, he never matured. Okay, uh, th that does sound a bit better. He never matured, so that box fort plays right into his persona, correct? Exactly, exactly. Maybe hey, he never. Job. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's one that he always had since childhood. It's like it's not like he made one recently. It's like he's always had that. It's been there for like thirty five years. It's very strange. So does that mean he did that like in the Hedgehog Daycare? Like he push kids over and say you're too slow. Sonic Generations Four was a dark game. <laughs> Are you from the future, <laughs> dude? What else can we expect from the Blue Hedgehog? I'm trying to see if there's like a way out. <laughs> like if I can get out like like I did an Iron Gate with Eggman, but uh, no such thing. Mm. No. Maybe if I just like speed uh. as much as I can, just kind of hold the turbo dash. Maybe I can <laughs> wedge myself out if I try hard enough. Hey, oh. hey, oh. Uh, 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 there we go. Hey, there we go. All From right. the hole. There we go. All right, now we can get somewhere. Space Find time that destroyed. Yeah. Oh wow, that. Actually, kind of looks cool. And then, oh. Uh, My favorite part is when the stage just blinks in and out of existence, like it's trying to remember. I was like, wait, should I load or not? Uh, 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 wait, uh, um. The many polys. <laughs> oh god, what do we do? You're giving the program identity crisis. It doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh. This is a wall. This is a very nicely rendered wall. Lovely close up of a, ter of a 2001 texture. Whoa! And we are completely out of the world. Good to see one of those uh, ancient pharaoh rides. I never noticed that was there. Well, wasn't it always like swinging in the background? And was, now what was it? I never noticed because I wasn't really paying attention to the swinging things in the background. I'm trying to say, oh god, where do I go? Oh shit, shit, jump, jump, run. Oh god. This is why you have a co-pilot to look at all the things that you miss. Yeah, co-pilot, except I'm playing this alone. <laughs> Look, quit breaking the illusion, all right? Breaking the illusion? <laughs> Even though it's been gone for, like, how many episodes are we in? 41? <laughs> the fact that there was an illusion is an illusion! Whoa! God, it's we're better illusion. at this than we thought! It's an illusionary paradox! <laughs> an illusion inside of illusion? What's going on here? If you think there is an illusion, that's a delusion if you think there's an illusion. But I have a solution for your illusion delusion. That's a all contusion. up to your illusions. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Ah, fuck. You were either going to find it or you were going to die. It was it was seen in the cards. There was no way you were getting out of that. Now my pride is all bruisings. Aw, oh, no. Ow. You'll be fine. All I right, let's play, it. let's play it real. I think we'll have a better idea of where we're going from there. At least, you uh, better chance at least we'll start to understand where the level goes but yeah follow the torches there yeah it's easy 
I love how you say let's play it real and then you fly over three of the columns that you were supposed to go through. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes, play fair. You know, uh, we've uh, hit pretty high mark in these action replay episodes. <laughs> what if something like this is someone's first episode of the series? <laughs> It's like, uh, well, it's like, well, I'm seeing a whole bunch of blackness, I'm seeing uh, Amy in a sonic stage, and I'm seeing a whole bunch of hedgehog panty shots. Uh, all right. Block. Report to FBI. <laughs> wow, this game is great! Look how well it's programmed! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, you died again? Ugh. Mm. It's, no. It's, I'm, I don't know if I'm messing around or if this game is just trippy. Could be a little combination of both. Ah. This is this is a very unusual level, anyway. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of blackness. I don't think that. I mean, I know it's supposed to be inside like, like a tomb or whatever, but it just seems like the blackness was just an easier way to have everything work properly. I think you it know, just adds. I think it adds the aesthetic, really. I can kind of see it, and I do like the the added effect of the walls showing up with the lights. But I just think, like, all that blackness down below, it, you could have at least put a simple texture down there, or maybe maybe I'm just spouting words. I don't know. You're just spouting words, because... <sighs> yeah. Quit, quit, quit spouting words of not knowing stuff. And, why can't but, she grab this thing? Come on. I am a programmer because I play video games. I know how they work. Again, I think it's Amy uh, not being quite exactly like Sonic, if you know what I'm saying. And that's why the background texture isn't loading. <laughs> It's not quite. Uh, You're not Sonic. Get out of here. <laughs> no girls allowed. I'm taking my texture and going home. Women will never be equal to men. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, hedgehogs will never be equivalent to other hedgehogs. <laughs> Hedgehog master race. No oh, echidnas. <laughs> and we've hit the tasteless quota for this episode. <laughs> Now, just imagine if this was somebody's first episode. <laughs> Send all hate mail to UDJ at theniskel.com. Ah, oh, perfect. Give, go straight to the, the dual email we made eons ago. Oh, I wonder if there's anything still I forgot in to hit the switch. Uh, aww. Oh, I thought you died there. I was wondering what you were doing. See, that's good design. Oh, Sonic, I see what it did. Sonic 06 would have you go all the fucking way back to the corridor to get the pool ball again. It's it. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> Come on, baby. Around. You know you were made for me. Come on. <laughs> all right, so here's... You the and me against the world. Right here. So the shower must be somewhere up in those uh, light of rings, or at least they should be. Mm hmm. Oh, it worked that time. Oh, ciao. Up here somewhere. Maybe I need to just hit this switch. Wait a minute, that leads to the rocket. That leads... But that was the Mystic Melody, right? We all know that the lost Chow, every single time, is tied to the Mystic Melody, or at least most of the time they are, but I mean... Mm, but this time might be different. Is this time different? <laughs> this huh. is truly the Pharaoh's curse. Eggman, what have you done? Maybe it's here? No, it's a one-up. Like a real one-up. Where is it? Strange. Wait a minute. Little animal friend, do you know? Wait a minute. Hmm? Something to note here. What do you see, my friend? Basically, this is the wrong altar. Shit. This is a red herring. Oh, I was about to think he's on the ship. Perfect hiding spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, ch that chow will stay lost then. You, you'll, you'll hear a little chow voice in the background going, Whee! Yay! <laughs> Where do we need to go then? The second altar is further up, and I'm trying desperately to see if it's actually around here, and it is not. 
Amy just flies up into the air. Do you see it? Hello? Anyone there? Anyone there? Hello? We're way out of time, but the chow is obviously not over there. So I'm thinking maybe I was fooled. And I was fooled. I just said I was fooled. Fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Because there's the second altar. Which produces Great. a spring, which you notice I tried to look for earlier. <laughs> the chow is down that corner and you gotta do some other stuff. And pretty much, yeah. Once more with feeling. So now we're back with two and a half minutes on the clock. We got like about a minute to find him. Let's go find him. Let me know where he is. Let's go, go, go. Oh, 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 let's go, Amy. Gotta go fast. Girl hedgehogs can go just as fast as boy hedgehogs. I think, at least. Block reported. Account terminated. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. there he is. Hey, look at that! But awesome. did you make it? Of course I did. Hey, look at that! With that speed, there's no way I couldn't. But but you had two and a half minutes? Oh, okay, yeah. That was like 20 seconds, dude. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you started with two and a half minutes. Even then, you had to do, like, three perfect uh, pole flips in a row the while like the time limit's going. Because the door is open for a limited amount of time, and also the time limit to actually get an A rank, so yeah, I'm glad, I'm so glad I'm doing action replay. <laughs> Alright. Whoa! Gotta, be gotta beat the game four, uh, beat this level in four minutes. You think we can Good do it? Lord. I, I didn't see you there for a second. You kind of disappeared. This is, uh, my holding Y phase. <laughs> Yes, the part of the Let's Play where the Y button becomes your best friend. See, I'm the kind of guy who thinks that every game should be like this. <laughs> infinite fast mode. Infinite fast, infinite flight. True freedom. You can do whatever you want. Imagine Ooh, there's the background. Imagine an open world sandbox like this. Like, imagine if just in Skyrim you were just doing this shit. Oh, just going, like, ultra super fast everywhere? A lot of work for the world that people would ultimately miss, but... Yeah, it would still be fun to get around. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and I just thought of something. <laughs> you mentioned how, what if this is somebody's first video, and they're actually <laughs> using this as a guide, and they say, this is where I just hold Y, and then you go <laughs> like a million miles an hour, and they haven't heard that you're using action replay. <laughs> Why isn't it working? How come his score is so high? How did he get that? <laughs> Is this a cheat code? Where can I input the codes? I actually don't know. Are there cheats in this game? Uh, well, the only real cheat code I know of is getting that secretary's theme, which, as you may notice, we're still rocking. Ah! Ah! No! Okay, there we go. Oh shit, I lost the thing. Ha! <sighs> <sighs> Fuck that. Try again. Ahem. Remember Once time again. Remember time attack mode, there is no, uh, there is no checkpoints. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we gotta, we gotta get a high enough score if we didn't have codes. We gotta do it super fast, and we gotta do it all in one go. There's no way I could have done this. I was a fool to think I could. You mean, like, legitimately or just that first shot? Legitimately. <laughs> oh, no. It this actually reminds me of the Boots of Blinding Speed from Morrowind. That was your way to get around the game quickly, but the only problem was you couldn't see. It's literally never, blinding speed. I've never played Morrowind. I, uh, worry, I worry now it may be too late. It is. I, I guarantee it is too late. Fuck. It is. It is very dated, and the games that came after it were so much better. And Oblivion wasn't that much great. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good for my first Elder Scrolls, not too bad. Yeah, I heard you picked up Skyrim Special Edition. I might have. It's my first time playing Skyrim, and it's really fun. I don't know how you've managed to go the entire time without playing Skyrim at all. I don't know, five years to miss a game? That's baffling, man. I mean, a game like Skyrim, that's one of those super legendary games. It's like... 
one of those killer apps, man. Well, that, that was actually one of those games. <laughs> at one of my jobs, everyone was like, "Oh, I'm am ta taking the day off." When? 11, 11, 11. You won't oh, see yeah. me that day. Oh. Well, how you enjoying it so far? If you've made it that far. Uh, I keep dying in stupid places. <laughs> like I keep thinking it has oblivion physics, and then I try to I try to jump down a, a small height. And uh, then I just, like, basically cripple and die, and then I have to go back to my last save, so there's all that you, progress gone. How about, how about you turn down the difficulty to, like, super easy mode? You can do that? Yeah, you can, just like in oh. Oblivion. Oh, that... Well, that might make my experience so much better. Yeah. That's what I do, because then you become, like, a god, and you roam Skyrim as a terror. <laughs> or as a force of good, or whatever. I was wondering why the dragon was kicking my ass the first time I met him. <laughs> Even then, the game's still pretty challenging, if you put it on very easy mode, so... I'll, I'll take it. I, I don't mind being lost in that game. It's one of the only things I love about it. And got it. Nice. And that I ends just, our Skyrim discussion, yes. I just thought of something that would make this so much funnier. So we already have the illusion that uh, that Sonic is now Amy, or vice versa, however you want to say it. Does that mean she's kind of like a Leatherface kind of person right now? Like, she she is Sonic, or maybe he is wearing Amy's skin. So either Sonic is wearing Amy's skin, or Sonic decided to transition. Anyway, here's hard mode. Uh, there's a lot of ghosts around here. Hmm. Is that the only thing they did? Is just put a lot more ghosts? Uh, pr pretty. <laughs> just about. I mean, I'm waiting for the spike balls to show up in this corridor because it's happened every other time. But there is a lot of ghosts, man. A lot of ghosts. And when you're trying to go fast and get a good time, that's gonna kick you in the ass. And also, there's instances where you need to stay, like, high up in the air. Like, you need to do everything perfectly, otherwise you're going to go down below where there's a whole bunch of those ghosts there that will probably end up killing you. Oof. But luckily we can fly, so we'll just, uh, fly. <laughs> ah, fuck. Uh-oh. Got caught in the barrier. Oh, well. There we go. We're still flying! Above the skybox. Uh, and... Nah, we're no! Down! Right in the fire. Damn it. Look at all these crazy jumping ghosts. It's nuts! <laughs> Just all over the place. I want to play. I want to play. I've never no. seen such jovial terrors of the deep grave. <laughs> the afterlife. Well, I mean, whatever. <laughs> have you seen Boo in Mario Party? He's pretty great. Yeah, he's a party animal. Yeah, that is one happy ghost. Just look at that face. Always with a smile and with his tongue hanging out. Like, yeah. These guys don't look too happy. They got their mouth stitched shut. That's a little. Uh... Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, 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 oh. get out. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, so... Oh, oh. I completely forgot that you were given checkpoints on hard mode. I thought this was another thing like time attack. I guess no checkpoints would be too hard. But even then, if you die once, you lose all your rings and all your scores, so you might as well restart the whole damn thing. See, that's what I hate about... Get, and I'm finding this out the older I get. Games that score you are douchebags. Especially it, Sonic games when it comes to scores. Are games getting harder or are we getting softer? Uh, I don't know. The grading system on all these past Sonic games have been really harsh. Like, there is no room for error if you, think, want a, if you want a grade. I think it's because we're adults and we play a lot of games and we play a lot of games... And so any game that requires a whole lot of skill and testament and grinding from us, it's like, ah, oh, jeez, why is it so hard? Fuck this shit. I think I'm mainly going with the mindset that a, a game that uh, throws a grade F in my face for a run that I thought was really good, oh, you no! just screwed up! No! You no! done fucked up! Ah! You suck! <laughs> oh, oh, God! Right then, it, it was at the end! Oh, <laughs> Uh, I didn't mean anything that I said, but that was extremely funny. This is Amy's uh, totally done phase. 
Uh, all right, we'll skip ahead. Oh boy. Uh, it may seem like I'm lost, but I'm not. How the hell did you do that? Yeah, I just, I mean, we were there, we saw it. I wonder if there's anything back here, but I guess there isn't. So yeah, it's hard mode. <laughs> it's hard, especially when off the last ramp you pull a turbo boost and fall into the infinite abyss. <laughs> well, well, we still got a little bit of time. So... What you got Let's in mind? Go Let's go back to our favorite stage in the whole damn game. The Chow World? Oh, wait, no. No, oh, no, I got this. It's time to escape from the city. It is Sonic, after all, so it should work, right? Oh. Right? right? Oh, this Does should be it? interesting. Huh? It's, it's just a model Sonic. change. Uh, yeah. And... Yeah! Ah! <laughs> yes! Sweet! <laughs> That's cool that the programming actually sees her as Sonic's model. They're they are literally exactly the same except for, you know, design. Because she's one of the four characters you can play in these action stages in two player mode, so it's pretty much just borrowing that code from two player mode and applying it to single player. Makes and oh, hey, we can take this with us. <laughs> cool. Oh, where can we take this? Oh, finish the stage. Whoa, finish huh? the stage, please. I think oh. I might. Well, let's see how far we can take it. Let's just, oh. let's just see. Oh, this is fantastic. And do you think that's an actual picture as the background? Oh, yeah. I, I want to think they, they took a helicopter view of whichever city they were working on this. It, oh, my God. This game is so broken now. But we have extra speed. To, oh, oh, shit. We lost it because oh. we got hit. Oh, well, that's all right. And yeah. we're trapped in the invisible wall as well, so can't really do much there. Oh, yeah, turbo speed. Well, not really much faster than what we already have. <laughs> I'm just thinking, if you grab the speed boots while you're going turbo speed, does time go backwards? <laughs> it's only if uh, you have the inverse of the turbo speed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so just thinking, you're, you're probably erasing some timelines right now. People are just vanishing right before I'm your erasing eyes. code is what's happening. <laughs> Oh my god, Sonic Adventure 2 doesn't know what to do anymore! Another iconic scene you didn't expect. <laughs> Wait, where's the truck? Would anybody have any problems if uh, Amy had the exact same skills as Sonic in the next Sonic game? Like, not have to be the fastest thing alive, but you know, move at least similarly enough that you can play the same as her and have no problems. Anybody have a problem with that? I don't think I would. Well, I mean, she can already catch up with Sonic, can't she? Like, normal running speed? Yep. She always knows where he is. See, that right, right. there, that tells me that she's at least as right, get, powerful. Get back! Get back! Get back! <laughs> Screw I don't you, want you, truck driver! You don't chase oh. after women. That's not nice. You just moonwalk out of it. Oh, it truly is gone. You deleted its code! It's gone. It's, it fell to the floor. It's out of here. <laughs> Which means it was his own model. Wait, so how does that work? You're supposed to get hurt if you get caught by it. Or is it... Know. How does this work? Oh, uh, well, I mean, you've broken every par every other paradigm. Why not this remember one? The, remember those shoes that have the wheels in the back? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. <laughs> She's just very good at it. <laughs> Champion. Oh, well, there all right. We <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. That was Amy Escape. Hope you enjoyed. Well, thanks for watching Sonic Adventure 2, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you, Amy. Maybe you'll like the second video we show you better.